everyone thanks for tuning in welcome back to another edition of overcomer show my name is Olainka Adebowale and this edition today I would like to continue with our series which is the fruit of the spirit and the subtitle today is long suffering uh, long suffering is one of the fruits of the spirit according to the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 which says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness uh, faith meekness temperance and against such there is no law long suffering uh, is part of the fruit of the spirit like i said and i did the example in my uh, the other video i use the tangerine as an example how the tangerine that we can call it love and the layers there we can name it joy peace and uh, long suffering and long suffering that i'm talking about today is uh, is the two words that join together long and suffering so it's called long suffering to suffer for a long time and it means showing patience in spite of trouble for bearing one another tolerating uncomplaining yeah that is uh, what uh, long suffering means and uh, god uh, god love demonstrates long suffering towards us god always have patience over us he always kind to us he never give up on us each time we make mistake he always um taking us back he always taking us back anytime that we ask for forgiveness he always receive us back he never give up, give up on us and uh, God wants us to endure to the end. I know that there are so many mountains that many of us are facing that refuse to go. Despite all our fasting and prayers, it has become a labor. It has become something that we could not hide. Some challenges in the life of some people. When you see them, before you could ask them, you have already know what they are facing. Some people, you cannot even hide it. And some people, you it's easy to hide once they make up uh, or put on the clothes you don't know what they are going through but i want you to let us know that every one of us on this earth we have one thing or the other that we are we are going through sometimes it might be a long time issue sometimes it might be a short one especially the one that has been a long time issue that you have prayed you have fast you have attended one prayer mountain or the other and it looks as if and people are even seeing you like oh maybe it is a sin no not everything that is as a result of our disobedience i know that our disobedience can cause it yes but at times it's not as a result of our disobedience no it happened to job also in the bible when job lost everything he lost everything even his friends they were mocking him even the wife also was telling him that why don't you cause god and die and the bible record recorded that job was a righteous man a perfect man on earth in his own days and all those cal calamity before him sometimes god wants to use it to move us closer to him we might be saying that oh am I, am I not closer enough to him sometimes if we have no experience something that will move us closer to god that will be able to to pray unto him we might just be neglecting everything but when we see something that we are looking up unto god for then that will make our faith in him to be strong yes it will make our faith in him to be strong he wants us to endure to the end god don't want us to give up he don't want us to go for the alternative some people they go for the alternative the alternative that i mean is that going to see the uh, spiritual herbalist or something people are doing it but we should look up uh, the bible says Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says that looking up unto jesus the author and finishers of your faith it is only God that can do it. He knows what he's doing and he will perfect it at the right time. In Job chapter 13, verse 15 says, Though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. I will trust in him. Are you trusting in God? Have you put your hope and mind in him? And Job also says that, uh, Job chapter 19 verse 25 it says for i know that my redeemer liveth and it shall stand at the latter day upon the earth 
Our Redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. He will stand at the, at the latter day for us. He will sort us out. Sometimes when, when, when it takes long for the, for, for our, for the prayer to be answered, Sometimes it means that God is cooking a better one for us. He's preparing something great, something wonderful to us. That when all eyes will see it, they will be marvelous. I want to close with this uh, example, uh, with this thing that somebody posted on my video, uh, on my WhatsApp, in the last few few years. There was this uh, woman. She was preparing fish for for her child, for her daughter. They used the daughter on that video. She, the daughter was crying and it's a fresh fish so she didn't really understand why the mom don't want to give her the fish and the mom wanted the fish to be cooked before giving it to her so that she will enjoy it and that is the better way to eat it so she put it in the oven and uh, for it to to be prepared to be done but the child don't know she was just crying and just crying just throwing tantrum but after a few minutes, the fish was ready and she gave it to the child. And she, the child looked at the mom and she was so happy and she enjoyed her meal. Same thing with us also. Sometimes we don't know why God is taking, why God is taking long to answer this prayer. Sometimes we don't even know. But at the end of the day, he will glorify himself. We should just keep on trusting him. Don't let us give up. Despite all the all those challenges, that's all the things that we are we face to. Don't let us go for the alternative. Or that alternative always hurts at the end of the day. And that is that it makes me to remember our mother uh, Sarah in the Bible. When it take, it's taking long when she was looking for the child and it looked as if God is not answering our, our prayer. And she had to search for the alternative for her husband by giving her maid Agai. To the husband she gave birth her other gave birth but at the end of the day mommy sarah realized that <laughs> she has missed it she realized that she has so hurt her destiny but thank god what did she do? did she woke up from her spiritual slumber and she did what she's supposed to do by pushing by by pushing her guy out and she take up her rightful for the position so that is what negative uh no, what that is what alternative can cause don't let us go for alternative let us hold on unto god he that has called us is faithful to the end he will do it and he said that the promise there for the full for the thought that i have for you is the thought of good and not of evil to give you a future and an expected end he will give us an expected end in the mighty name of jesus let's keep believing him let's keep trusting him he will glorify himself in the mighty name of jesus christ amen thank you so much thanks for watching go ahead and overcome in jesus mighty name amen see you next time god bless bye